Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 24. And of Asher he said, Let Asher be blessed with children, let him be acceptable to his brethren, and let him dip his foot in oil. Thy shoes shall be iron and brass, and as thy days, so shall thy strength be. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and honors and blessings to the elect throughout the four corners of the earth that's pushing this truth. The name of this lesson is going to be entitled, Brazilians are Israelites. And Brazilians, they are the tribe of Asher, okay? When you look on the uh, the 12 tribes of Israel chart, the 12 tribes of Israel sign, okay, Brazilians are of the tribe of Asher, okay? They're from the tribe of Asher because uh, Colombia to Uruguay, to Uruguay, uh, Brazilian is a... Uh, within that uh in that vicinity okay brazil is within that vicinity so brazilians are the tribe of asher okay and in this lesson i'm going to harp on that point okay basically explaining what we just read in deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 24 to 25 okay now i'm going to go to this document here it's called transcriptions the Maya were Israelites, all right? But in this document, we're going to talk about the tribe of Asher, okay? In particular, uh, the Brazilians, okay? The Brazilians, all right? Now, this is on page eight of that document. This is going to be, well, you could say the third paragraph, really, all right? Now, it says, Dr. Gordon made other important conclusions regarding early Phoenician travels to High Barzal, the island of iron, continent of South America, based on minute examination of the stylistic forms and linguist linguistic details of the Phoenician language, which were incorporated into the Paraiba inscription from Brazil. Barzal means iron in Hebrew and Punic, these were unknown at the time of the inscriptions discovery in the 19th century, uh, which are the 1800s. Fully one third of all of the Earth's surface iron ore is in Brazil. Did you hear that? I'm going to read that again. Fully one third of all of the Earth's surface iron ore is in Brazil. All right, so that's the point right there. And we read up here, it says, Hi, Brazil. That's where you get the word Brazil from. It comes from High Barzal, which means island of iron. Okay? And we just read that one one third of all of the Earth's surface iron ore is in Brazil. Okay? So we're gonna go back to that scripture in Deuteronomy, okay? Because that explains the point, man. I mean, when when you read, you know, in Genesis chapter 49. And Deuteronomy chapter 33, it gives the uh, the geographical location of, of the 12 tribes of Israel in the last days. OK, now I'm going to read verse uh, 24 to 25 again. All right. This is Deuteronomy chapter 33, chapter 33, verse, verses 24 and 25. And of Asher, he said, let Asher be blessed with children. Let him be acceptable to his brethren and let him dip his foot in oil. Okay, so Asher is blessed with children, you know. Uh, Asher, the tribe of Asher, that's uh, Colombia to Uruguay, and they are blessed with children, okay. And it says, let him be acceptable to his brethren, because uh, basically the tribes here in these last days, they, they discriminate against each other, man. You know, and uh, you have different tribes that don't accept so-called Brazilians or so-called Colombians, you know, so we have a lot of animosity between the tribes and uh, in particular against the tribe of Asher, which uh, Brazilians, they're, they're from the tribe of Asher, man. I mean, you know, you can look up racism in Brazil, you know, and, uh, and a lot of times the, the darker skinned Brazilians, they're, they're the ones that's uh, the most discriminated against, okay? You know, for the majority of the time. 
if if uh, if they're of uh, what you call Negroid or Indian descent, most of the time they're discriminated against. Okay, and it says, and let him dip his foot in oil. So this is letting you know that uh, Brazil is rich in oil. Okay, thy shoes shall be iron and brass. So that's the point right there. Thy shoes shall be iron and brass. But according to uh to this document here, you know, it explains that Brazil comes from high Barzal, which means island of island of iron. Brazil literally means island of iron. Okay, which we looked it up. Okay. We looked it up here. You have you have uh I which is uh that's where you have uh h y says uh high but in the hebrew it's i and it means island okay and you have uh that word barzal in the hebrew barzal means iron okay it says iron or iron ore barzal okay so that explains the point. So as we read the scripture, when it said, when it said that uh, thy shoes shall be iron and brass, it's giving you the the, uh, the geographical location of where the tribe of Asher would be. In particular, so-called Brazilians, man. I mean, we're not even talking about, you know, the uh, the other uh, countries in South America. Like it says, Colombia to Uruguay. But but uh, Brazil Brazil is a part of that, okay. And I'm gonna read a little bit in this encyclopedia here. Brother, uh, bear with me. It says the Golden Book Encyclopedia, and it gives you a uh, B to C. All right. Now it says Brazil. It says the full name of this country is the United States of Brazil. Usually it is just called Brazil. Brazil is, is by far the largest country in South America. It is only a little smaller than the United States. Now we're gonna skip down. All right, right here it says, the bulge of, of Brazil reaches far out into the Atlantic. In much of this land, hot weather crops are raised. The chief ones are sugar cane, cocoa, and cotton. Farther south, there is a region of cities and farms and mines. Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo, Brazil's two biggest cities, are here. Each has about three million people. The farms and are plantations or uh, fazendas on which coffee, coffee and cotton are raised. Much of the world's coffee comes from Brazil. The chief mines are iron and manganese mines. Brazil has mountains of iron. Going back to, to the point, it says Brazil has mountains of iron because Brazil comes from the Hebrew word Barzal, Barzal, which means iron, okay? And we have uh, basically a, a map of Brazil and its natural resources. And you have the icon with the eye in the middle, and you have the, the mining tools. So that's where all the uh, the mines of uh, iron are, okay? And those are most of the the, uh, the mines that are found in Brazil, okay? So Brazil is known for its iron, all right? So, I mean, that, that's the point, man. You know, ain't no need to, uh, pretty much drag this into the mud but as you can see Brazilians are in fact the tribe of Asher man based off of where they will be living in the last days okay so with that I hope this is edifying alright and uh till the next lesson I say Shalom